okay, Theresa. Big smile. Straight at the camera, please. And I'll take another of those. That's There's more to taking a photograph than just pushing a button. You have to make sure that the lighting is just right. So photographers are the experts when it comes to working with light. And the other way. Fashion photographers often work indoors in studios, so they can use artificial light and be in complete control. Great. Head back. Lovely. Big smile. Look towards the camera. That's great. Now you stay as you are. Um, can we have these lights down, please? And the curtain down as well, and we'll uh, reset. With different lighting, photographers can create all kinds of effects. OK, lights, please, Tim. Not only do they play with light and shadow, but they can even change the colours that appear in the photograph. But before thinking about colours, you have to know how we can see things at all. When there isn't much light around, it's difficult to see anything. But when the lamp is switched on, light travels out and is reflected from the model in all directions. Some of the reflected light goes to the photographer, so now she can see the model and take a photograph. OK. Tim, can you pump a bit of smoke in for me, please? Smoke particles also reflect light, so some smoke helps us to see the beam from the lamp. We see things by reflected light, but why do we see things in different colours? Light from a lamp normally appears to be white. This guy's using a lens to make a narrow beam of white light. But white light is actually made up of a blend of different colours. You can demonstrate this using a glass prism. The prism makes the beam of light change direction, but the different colours are bent by different amounts. So the colours that make up white light are separated by the prism. This experiment shows that white light is made up of a spectrum of colours, ranging from reds and oranges through to blues and violets. Normally, our eyes can't see these colours individually. All the colours are present at the same time, and the light appears to be white. A white dress reflects all the colours, so the reflected light appears to be white as well. That's why this dress looks white. But why does another dress look red? Great. As before, the light from the lamp contains all the colours of the spectrum. But this time, most of the colours are absorbed by the dress. Only the red light is reflected. Red things reflect mainly red light. The other colours are absorbed. So that's why red things look red. You should be able to explain for yourself why this dress looks yellow. Superb. Great. Could you put your head back there, please? Lovely. Big smile. Thanks. Black dress, please. That's lovely. This dress hardly reflects any light at all. That's why it's black. And, uh, big smile. That's great. Here's a really obvious question about colour. 
Why is the sky blue? In this model, a lamp plays the part of the sun. A tank of water with some powder in it is the sky. When they've dissolved, the tiny powder particles are like the air molecules in the sky. Remember, the light from the lamp contains all the colours of the spectrum. Some of the light bounces off the powder particles and comes out sideways. This is called scattering, but blue light scatters much better than other colours. Some of the blue light is scattered towards us, so that's why the tank of water now looks blue. You can tell by his shadow that this guy has the sun behind him. As before, the light from the sun contains all the colours of the spectrum. But remember, air molecules scatter blue light more than other colours, so it's mainly blue that comes back towards us. So now you know why the sky looks blue. But why are sunsets red? It's very dangerous to look directly at the sun, so we just used our model. When it's low in the sky, there's much more air between you and the sun, so we added lots of powder this time. Now nearly all the blue light gets scattered out of the tank. Only reds and oranges can get all the way through the tank without being scattered. So that's why sunsets are red. It's possible to create coloured light using filters. Lighting designers use filters called gels, like this red one. The filament in the lamp gives out white light, which we know is made up of all the colours of the spectrum. But the filter only lets red light through. All the other colours are absorbed. So, now the lamp is only giving out red light. A filter lets one colour of light through and absorbs the others. Red, green and blue are called the primary colours of light. We'll find out why they're important in a minute. Combining a pair of primary colours gives the secondary colours. Blue and green make a secondary colour called cyan. Red and blue make magenta. And red and green make yellow. Believe it or not, if you overlap blue, green and red, you get white. What'll happen if he switches off the blue lamp? Only red and green light are left, which makes yellow. When Teresa stands in place, she makes some unusual shadows. There are some in red, blue and green, some in cyan, magenta and yellow, and there's an ordinary dark shadow in the centre. It isn't difficult to explain why, once you've got the idea. Think about which light she's blocking off to make the shadows.
For example, the red shadow is where she's blocking off the blue and green lamps. Try explaining the others. The primary colours are important because you can make any colour at all by mixing red, blue and green in the right proportions. You can see lots of different colours in Teresa's dress, depending on how much red, blue and green are shining on it. Hold. The primary colours are used in television sets and in video projectors, like this one. All the colours in the image are made by combining red, blue and green. If green is removed, then the colours containing red and blue will dominate. Blocking off red has a different effect. Directly into the camera. The important thing to remember is that you see things by reflected light. As you're about to see, coloured light can play tricks on you if you're not careful. Take a break, sunshine. Right, boys, I'm back off my holiday. I'm ready to get back to work. And you'll be glad to know I've been making the most of the last 18 months, doing a bit of research. There's a nice little industrial unit just down the road. That's going to give us all the chance for a nearly retirement. We go in at night. But there's going to be video cameras, so that means no faces and no names. But so that you still all know who's who, we'll all be wearing different colours. Here you go, boys. These are your new identities. Ronnie, you're Mr Green. Michael. Keith, you're Mr White. And Brian, Mr Red. And I'll be Mr Black. Clear? Right, Mickey. What have I just said? Sorry. Mr. Black. Right. Now listen, it couldn't be easier. Mr. Green goes in to kill the alarms. With Mr. Red on the roof, keep him look out. Once the alarms are off, Mr. White can go in and get the money. While I'm outside in the motor, in radio contact with Mr. Red. Now when he sees Mr. White and Mr. Green with the bags, he gives me the all clear and I come round, pick you all up, and we head for the airport, OK? Now listen, this is important. If, at any point, any of you sees me, Mr Black, you know we've been rumbled. You get the others, you get out, and we all leg it, right? Mr Red calling Mr Black. Everything in place and ready to go. Over. Good. Now let's steal some money.
Oh no. It's Mr. Black. Something's happened. This has all gone wrong. Well, where's Mr. Red? What are you doing? Mr. Black, what's happened? What's gone wrong? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm meant to be here. What, what's, what's the problem? Hey, I'm, I'm fixing the alarms, you know that. Where's Mr. White? Oh, I'm Mr. White. Now, what's gone wrong? Nothing's gone wrong. So why are you here? I just told you, man, I am fixing the alarm. Well, Mr. Green's doing that. I am Mr. Green. Oh, uh, great. Now we've got two Mr. Reds. I what is going on? Where's Mr. Green? I've been trying to tell you, I'm not Mr. Red. Mr. Black calling Mr. Red. Come in, Mr. Red. Come on, son, talk to me. Right. I know you're white. No, you're red. Oh, God, I don't I'm know. I'm Mr. Red. What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? He's in the wrong place, and he's in the wrong place. Well, where's the money? Oh, great, now we've got two Mr. Black. Look, I've told you, haven't I? He's black, OK. Take it, lads. Wait, hey, get back here now. Quick, come on, quick, move it. You said together. Shut up. Will you make your mind up? Is this thing on or off? Shut up! But, but it's blown. Shut up! Get in the line. Now, come on, let's sort it out. Right. You are Mr. White. White, like snow. Got it? Right. You are Mr. Green. See? Green. And you are Mr. Red. And I'm Mr. Black. Got it? Right. Now, can we please get on with the robbery? Gov. Gov. Yes! What is your problem? I think it's Mr. Blue. The crooks went wrong because there was a red light outside the factory. Red things still look about the same. But white things also reflect red light, so they look red. Green things don't reflect red light, so that makes them look black. And black things don't reflect any colour of light, they always look black. You need white light to sort it all out. Don't be confused by colours. Just remember that you can only see things by the colours of light that they reflect. <laughs> 